And I'm Kitty. And I'm Max. And this is Dango Duo. What is this? This is this is spring anime. Yeah, we're we're bringing we? you the the hottest spring 2017 anime with an from anime 2012, from 2012, which I don't five think was years ago. Even in spring. Five years ago, an anime by the name of Psychopaths came out, it and it changed aired. the world. Sure. It revolutionized the world with its completely flawless storytelling. Yep, def- definitely. And we're going to be here today to, uh, to report on it. How how flawlessly storytelling Yeah, absolutely. It, oh, it we're, we're leading the shot super bad. <laughs> we're leading the sh- we, 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 We're starting this, this anime, this review with, like, shovels. Yeah. Yeah, we're like, alrighty, let's dig our hole. Uh, so, uh, if you're not familiar with our show, uh, we're Dango Duo. We do anime reviews and let's play content every single day. And today we're going to be doing a review of Psychopath Season 1. All 22 e- episodes. Episodes. Uh, Kitty has been wanting me to watch this anime forever. Yeah, because we... I watched it. Oh, fuck. No, I forgot my, my bad is actually not this. It's Ooh. actually the thing that pisses me off so oh, much. Okay. Uh, pissed okay. off. Okay. I'll write that down really right. quick. Okay. Uh, so, Kitty watches this anime a while I watched back. this anime closer to when it started airing. It was more like in 2014, probably, when yeah. I watched it. Yeah. And I was like, it's not good, but the world building's cool. So, <laughs> it, I think you might enjoy it. It's not good. <laughs> it's, it's not good, but it could be okay. It could be okay. Uh, so, we sat down and we watched uh, all of it. Uh, yep, all 22 episodes. Uh, took us a little while, but we did it. We did it. And we kind of wanted to come here and report our thoughts. Yeah. Uh, mostly because you because you anime. enjoy listening to us being in pain. And this one's not. It's not as. It's not that bad. It's not. It's not. He's at the levels of. No, oh no 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 no. We didn't want to gouge our eyes out at one point. But the, the, uh, only but at one point. The, mm, uh, uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot for us to cover. So let me explain to you the format of. Our reviews. Mm-hmm. First, though, we're gonna give you a nice spoiler-less summary of what this series is all about. The general uh, things you should expect from the series. Mm-hmm. We're gonna tell you what we liked, what we didn't like. We're gonna give you a recommendation whether you should watch it, and if this interests you or you have already seen it, something else that you might want to check out. Mm-hmm. At, at which point, we're gonna ask you to uh, stop and go watch it, or keep on going because we're gonna start the spoiler zone. We're gonna talk about everybody who dies. Everybody. Whoa. There's deaths in this it's murder mystery? <laughs> a- anime? Never. Never. Anime? Never. There's deaths. Your, your, your favorite character's dead. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Let's stick using gender neutral pronouns for <laughs> the people who may or may not have died in this story. So, with that being said, it's Daijobo. Let's hey there. Let's get this start. Let's get this show on the road. So, kitty! What's this anime all about? Well, this is an original anime made by Gen Urubuki, who did um, Madoka, Saya's Last Song, uh, which is a game. Not did, did, he, did he write all of it, or just like the the, the beginning? I think he wrote all of it. No, he wrote what? the beginning of Alden Zero, the first, yeah. the only good the, the, episodes, the only, apparently. The first three episodes, which are the so only three episodes. So you can kind of tell what we're getting into, character deaths, you know, breaking stuff, the family uh, business. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the family business. Uh, this takes place in a... Uh, dystopia slash utopia world in which um, crime rates are measured uh, by machines and uh, if you if you go too far you'll never come back from being a criminal so they then they become latent criminals which can either just rot in a prison cell all day or help the police force capture other criminals criminals which is where our protagonist Akane Sunimori takes uh, she is a cool babe who takes no shit just kidding. She's not. She's actually super sweet. She's super sweet. She's um, so she joins the world of the police force and is like, I'm going to help people. Justice. And then um, proceeds to learn all about the nitty gritty, horrible details of this yep. world. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the coolest thing about the setting is mm-hmm. the use of the psycho pass. Yep. Uh, which is, um, uh, is the, the finest a color mm-hmm. and, and, a, and a number, yeah. which represents a person's, uh, I guess, um, their uh, intent to do crimes or intent, how... Or, or, or commit violence and and, yeah. and, and, and crimes. And uh, that's something that the machines can just look at and... And, and scan. And see. It's kind of like, oh, Kitty, you have a rating of zero because you, <laughs> you are pure and tiny and mm-hmm. small and... And would would ne- ne- can't would ne- actually harm anyone. And you cannot actually harm somebody. <laughs> As opposed to like the, uh, scanning like a criminal or someone about to commit a crime and you mm-hmm. go, oh, oh this, shit. it's like, uh, it's over 9,000. No, it's and, not. And the cool thing about this is that they use it in the police department where their guns can actually like, they have different modes for depending on how likely yeah. you are to commit a crime. It's Absolutely. like, you know, it's either, you know, doesn't work paralyzer mode or you can just fucking kill them yeah, literally disintegrate them into yeah. nothingness and that's kind of like the um, the the dystopian nature of this particular setting mm-hmm. in which uh if your number goes a, per- a particular uh if your, num- if your number goes high up mm-hmm. 
and the people see you uh, yeah. and like they spot you like they will just kill you mm-hmm. uh, although the 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 cool thing that they introduced in this like first episode is that it's not always so black and white mm-hmm. in this anime because um if you're a victim of the crime and you witness crimes your psycho your your crime coefficient can also go up yeah. meaning like even if you're not actually involved in the crime, you can still suffer consequences of it, mm, which is which introduces that little dystopian, mm. little dystopian yeah, twist in there. Yeah. So you know, you could say that it's not always people who want to do bad things who have a high psychopath number. Yeah. It's sometimes people who are involved in really traumatic, horrible things who yeah. have also unfortunately suffered these consequences. Mm. And this also, of course, the nature that uh, this system is all automated. Yep. Uh, and, you know, like the city is the one running it, and mm-hmm. there's cameras everywhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, while crime is also very, very, very low, it has that kind of 1980. For uh, you know, you're being surveilled yeah, at all times. Kind of Big Brother is always yeah. watching. Yeah, absolutely. So that's pretty much the summary of the that, anime. That, that's that, that's that's it's not, long, all you need but to it is jump in. Uh, from there on, it becomes kind of police and murder drama mysteries. with, uh, of course, a spin on because uh, you have it. It it does not. I don't want to say it, it doesn't waste its setting, but mm-hmm. it definitely tries to use it for yeah, the center to, of the story. For its uh, main... Um, Driving plot, I guess. Yeah, the, uh, especially towards the second half and the whole yeah, second half of the yeah, first season. Uh, whether it was effective or not, we're going to argue we'll about that. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but now that you know, let's take it from the top. Kitty, what did you like the most about this anime? I fucking love Akane. She is so precious and so perfect. And I love... And we're going to get into this in the bad. But the fact that she's not... She's introduced as a main character, and then kind of, you know, shuffled aside for yeah. another main character. It's fucking, it pisses me off the most about this anime. Even though this is my good thing, I still gotta bring it a little over there. Because she it, is the inter- most interesting character in mm. this anime. Because she's someone who is optimistic, who, you know, likes the system that they have and wants to protect it, wants to protect people, mm. but also, you know, can get sucked into her, to the murder mysteries as well, and kind of mm. like, you know... It's it's harder for her because she's, you know, small and not very. She doesn't look very tough or anything. But she has this like hardened psychopath that never yeah. like changes. So it's it's this cool conflict of like, emotionally she's kind of all over the place, but like internally she's like, no, nah, we good, we good. Yeah, let's go fight this murderer. Let's yeah. do this. Uh, uh, definitely. Jordan. But within the, the the limits of the laws, mm, which is a really cool character conflict for her. Yeah, and uh, let us not forget the fact that she chose to become a member of the police mm, department. She could have, well, had, she could any have had any pushy job. She could have had any paper pushing job mm-hmm. on the highest positions because um because the she... way that it works in, that it works in this world is mm-hmm. that um once you become of age, you take a test and and depending on that, you're given a selection of jobs. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like yeah, you're guaranteed to have a job because of the civil system. Which is what's mm-hmm. running everything, mm-hmm. uh, because you'll have there will be you'll be offered the job that provides you the most happiness to your mm-hmm. life, and I kind of was offered the choice of anything. Yeah, she, she could do whatever been she wants. Basically, wants. anything and she, she wanted. And she chose to become a member of the police force because she believed in the system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that is giving me tingles all over yeah. my face. Yeah, it's so. She is such a good central character for this shitty ass th- dystopian mm-hmm. world, mm-hmm. and. It is unfortunate that she gets she, shafted she gets, completely in the second half, pretty and, much. And just, uh, I, I, I mean, we're already talking about it already, but mm-hmm. it's hard for us. It may be hard for you to understand what we're trying to say. Mm-hmm. She literally gets shoved to the side, even in the open in the second opening. Mm-hmm. It's literally it's she like gets her pushed passing to the, side. the baton to Kogami, the other main character. The other main character, like, and, and there's issues where, like, later on, I'm like. So wait, is he is he the main character? Is she the main character? Does the story even know or care? No. And and let's be I'm gonna be real with you. Akane is a way better main character than Kogami. A hundred percent. Because Kogami is is he's too boring. He like knows yeah, everything. No, no. He's so eh, my dick is the hardest and biggest. Eh. It, it, but Akane is you're questioning not, constantly. You're not wrong. You're She's not questioning wrong. the system that she even believes in. She's like, should I believe in this system? Yeah. Is she it, well, is see, way better. We're already there. But like yeah. I wish Kogami had been her foil, yeah. the person trying to lure her into breaking the law, but instead the story becomes about him. And mm-hmm. there's scenes in the second half of the season where I'm like, why can't it just be Akane doing this? Yeah. Why, why can't Akane be the one doing this and bringing context to the entire conflict of following the law, no mm-hmm. matter what it is? Yeah, versus and, and, like, you and, know, and, and doing breaking the what, law what if it means doing the right thing, exactly. quotation fingers. Yeah, and here we are <laughs> at the struggle already. Yeah. Uh, if I must talk about what I like the most, I mm-hmm. the world is interesting. The world mm-hmm. is very cool. And I love 
this the the cybernetic nature of it. I, mm -hmm. I love uh, cyberpunk. It's one of my favorite kind and of this settings. Is, this is dripping with cyberpunk. This is dripping with cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. Human augmentations, virtual reality, mm -hmm. and the fact that every member of the of the cast has a a, a human augmentation because mm -hmm. they they can see through the gun. Yeah, and that's all incredibly cool. Mm -hmm. And I guess we're just sliding back into what we did not like. Now that we're pretty <laughs> much clear. Uh, <laughs> What I, what I love the most about this is the world. What I dislike the most is how it's applied to this particular setting. Yeah. We're going to go more on this. We'll go on more the, in the spoilers spoiler section song. because this is like the main plot of yeah. the story. But but, but I, feel, I feel bad for Kitty because the whole time we're watching the second half of the season is just me going, but this is, this is not even a bad thing. Like, yeah. wh why are we all acting like the thing we, that's happening is the bad thing? Because mm -hmm. it's not even a bad thing. Yeah. yeah. Is it like like I don't want to give examples, but like it's one of those things where like the anime it has that really really rough tone of like oh isn't this the worst thing ever? It's Look, like, it's it's all it was all for blank. It was all for blank, and I'm just kind of like, this is still fine. This is actually. But y'all get the jobs that yeah. you want. I mean, it like, sucks like, that like farming's been eliminated, but did people really want to be farming? Yeah, then just play Harvest Moon. That's true. But it's it's, 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 it's like it's, it's like oh, oh no. All of us are still going to be given the job that pr will provide us we the biggest happiness. We are controlled by the civil system. A and none of us ha have to like look for jobs, and we're guaranteed no, safety no, by. No, 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 Yanto. Yanto. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, uh, for what? those of you who don't know, we have a great cat named Yanto. <laughs> there he was. There he is. And he's trying to jump to the top of the TV that we'll use for recording games. I'm going to. <laughs> I hope oh, the mic picked that okay. up. Okay, I'm pretty sure the mic picked that up. Here, hold this. Let me go get this fucking cat. Go kick his ass. And go talk about how. No, do not do it. Do not do it. <laughs> oh, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. All right. So, uh, uh, I love the world. I I definitely like it. Uh, I I think the design for the Dominator gun is kind of silly. I it's think it's silly, not... but I kind of love it. Like I want the proplica of it. Yeah, you're not wrong. Especially if it lights uh, up. I'm yeah. I'm I'm big on that shit that lights up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but I I'll also like. The application of the world and some characters get absolutely shafted. Aside from Akane, some of the characters get yeah. completely shafted. Like, like even to the extent where I'm like, even the episode about uh, one of the enforcers, she gets like not much characterization. Yeah. You oh. don't actually learn why she became a latent it, 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 criminal, yeah. other than she associated with this other criminal. Yeah, Woo! Like, it, it, it feels at points incredibly weak and. Uh, I'm going on and on and on, but also the mm -hmm. the main the central antagonist. There's issues with this uh. character. He's that so that, that are he's that was incredibly boring. Mm -hmm. But it's a sort of thing where I'm like, like this is the fantasy antagonist that has endless resources and can do whatever they want, mm -hmm. but we never learn how they do did all those things. Mm -hmm. And like I understand that which like, would have been much in more interesting. Yeah, it, and I hate to be an asshole, but like that's the sort of antagonist that lazy writers like to use because mm -hmm. you never have to explain how they can do all the things they can do. Yanto, stop! You don't want to go on the TV. I promise. Are we gonna have to see to close him out? I hope not. So, Kitty. All right. Aside from Yen, I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. Uh, tell us what what did you dislike the most about this anime? Well, we already talked about Kogami. Yes, baby, I know <laughs> Kogami. Um, so I'm going to talk about the other thing that, like, the first time I watched this anime, I was so pissed off at this episode, and I can't go into spoilers too much. But let me just say, episode, I think it's 12, pissed me the fuck off, and I don't get angry. I, mm. like, never get angry. You don't want to climb in the laundry basket, my <laughs> love. Uh, Yento definitely tries, but Kitty does not get angry, so I she's don't. pure and, and soft. And, and, like, I felt so upset and raged and just, like, I was so angry at that episode because everything that I hate about anime, everything I hate about this kind of shit, the murder mysteries, everything I... I love about Akane's question, and it's just like, f I fucking hated episode 12. It is one of the worst episodes of, like, anything ever, and Yanto has just sat on my notes. Yeah, he just sat on your notes. Alrighty, I guess I didn't need those. Uh, I guess we just don't need the the, Whatever. the guidelines for this episode. Alrighty. <laughs> he's, he's, he's spinning, oh, he's trying to settle. He got off the notes. Okay, there oh, you go. go. Take okay, I'll, I'll take the notes. Alright, so, so yeah, um, we'll talk about episode 12 in the spoilers, but I hated it so yeah. much. Like, I was, like... I was like yelling, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Come on, and, baby, and, and just to be clear, Kitty does not. Get I don't angry. get angry, and I especially don't get angry at like fictional shit. Yeah, like who cares? Like it's it's an anime. Who cares? Yeah, but but, but this but shit, the content that happened, it was so bad. Now, uh, you know what we liked and what we didn't like. Uh, we have rambled a lot. Yeah. But before we we go on with the spoilers, we want to give you a recommendation. A recommendation. Mm -hmm. Kitty, would you recommend this anime to the viewers? And, and yes, if not, or what ifs? Mm -hmm. uh, 
is there something else you would recommend to them that may be related to this or in the same feeling? My answer is, eh. If, you, if it sounded interesting, check it out. Um, you know, you're gonna get cyberpunk. Yep. If you like cyberpunk, you're gonna get it. If you like murder mysteries, you're gonna get it with some small plot holes in there. If you like character-driven stories, uh... Akan is good, but, 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 is good, but, but, but she gets shafted. Sucks. So, um, if this sounds interesting, and you're bored, and you have 22 episodes worth of time, go for it. You know, it exists. Uh, what um, would you recommend instead of Psycho Pass? Or alongside it? Um, if you want a better murder mystery than Psycho Pass, um, I would recommend Danganronpa, because it has that same kind of not gritty feeling, but like something is is really wrong yeah, here. It has yeah. that same feeling going throughout yeah. the whole game, and uh, not the anime, the game, because the anime for the first season kind of sucks. It kind of does. For it, the first it, game. Sum it summarizes like a forty-hour game yeah, into twelve episodes. Yeah, so you know it's gonna suck. I know yeah, you yeah. want to eat my pen. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend the Dingle Rumpers. Uh, Dangan Rumpa. We call it Dingle Rumpers mm -hmm. for fun, but it's Dangan Rumpa the yeah, game. I totally recommend it, and it's also you know it's got your murder mystery fix. It's got, it's actually yeah. like more character yeah. driven. Oh, he just yeah, it, me. and. Uh, it also has a really, really interesting setting as well. It has it has an interesting interesting setting and an interesting twist. Yeah. Uh, as for my recommendation, I kind of feel the same way as Kitty. Eh. Like if you if you want to see an exercise in how not to use your setting, mm. uh, he, here you go. Or your characters. Or your character. You know what? You're not wrong, cause like, like the fact that Akane is such a much more interesting character than Kogami, and even right now we're looking at the key art for this anime, and mm -hmm. Kogami is in front of her, as yeah. though he is the main character all along. Even though in the first half we are completely, almost 100% following Akane. Yeah. We only start following Kogami in the second half of the season when yeah. Big Bad Murder Guy in gets introduced. Yeah, exactly. Because it's his blood, and he must get to the Big Bad Murder yeah, Guy. Exactly. Oh yeah, he has to do it because. Also, they completely forget about his his uh reasoning for why he wants to kill Ma Makishima. Yeah. Yeah. He just wants to do it just to do it. Yeah. Because, like, it was supposed to be for revenge, but then they just but forget then about they it. they forgot. Uh, now, uh, if you feel cyberpunky, and and I'm gonna recommend the game as well because the color palette for Psycho Pass is absolutely Shadowrun. Mm. Uh, the Shadowrun computer games, uh, the new ones, are really, really, really good. If you want a good murder mystery where you can play it, you're mm. a character, you yeah. build your own character. Uh, it's got a little, a little bit more fantasy elements, but uh, I did a full LP of it a while back, and it deals with like. Like, not only cybernetics, uh, the freaking uh, nature of human augmentation, but also, like, racism within human augmentation. Mm -hmm. And it's a really good uh, murder mystery as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and the color palette is the exact same. It's Probably kinda... except the rainbow gradients. Except for the rainbow gradients that happened in, like, episode in, 12. In the sewer, yeah. In, in the, the sewer, 10? 10? 10? 11, Maybe. 12. And then, yeah. and then the green sky, for some reason, in the climax. Yeah, that, that was that was dumb. Yeah. That was Psycho dumb. Pass has some weird colors going yeah. on. Yeah. The cyberpunky color palette is good, but... Uh, but then it just has rainbows. Yeah, it's weird. It's like someone just dumped a gradient just to make the backgrounds look They're like, you know, it looks good, that MS Windows thing where all the colors go together. Oof, you're not wrong. Yeah. Uh, so, you know what we liked, what we didn't like, our recommendation. Uh, if you want to go check it out, there should be a link to it in the description down below. You it's can on, go watch this for free uh, at on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll. It's Hulu. also on... Netflix? Netflix. I think mm. for right now it might be gone by the time this video goes up. But we Netflix never know. Uh, and maybe Hulu. And maybe Hulu. Might be on Hulu. Uh, we'll have the link to Crunchyroll because that yeah. that will stay there that, for sure. Yeah. And it also it will have the link to the second season, which we will watch eventually. At some point, thank God it's only eleven episodes, and Akane is actually in the in the center of the key art, so <laughs> it might actually be about Akane. <laughs> Who knows? I've heard second uh, season's not very good. Oof, oof, oof. So go watch it if you want to, mm. or keep on moving forward because the spoiler zone begins at the count of three, two. One. Non-lethal mode. Paralyzer inactivated. Engage. Engage. Please aim carefully. Okay. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. We have actually a lot of notes. Let's start with the with the main thing. Uh, the main plot slash mystery of the the season. Mm -hmm. uh, Makishima intertwined with Makishima the civil Shogo. system. Yes. So it's all about um, this one uh, mullet uh, wearing man comes <laughs> the, in. The, yeah, white hair mullet, mullet wearing guy, man uh, comes in and is like. Oh, and, and like I really like how he's introduced in the way not not actually how he's introduced because he's like eh philosophy eh eh eh. Uh, you, can, my own you, dick. you can't see Kitty, but she's doing the penis stroking hand motion. Yeah. So um, like he gets introduced, but the um, but the idea behind him is kind of cool that he's criminally asymptomatic, in uh, that he does horrible things, but his psychopaths and crime coefficients stay very low. And that is a cool ass concept because mm -hmm. he could do whatever the fuck he wants yeah. and he will never be caught because no matter what he does the the police enforcement guns 
do not activate. They will they will be locked. They can't yeah. even use their guns. Yeah. They can't even use the paralyzer mode on yeah. them. And, That's and, how locked it and is. And cameras don't react. Yep. Uh, robots don't react. And that within itself is like the only one way in which you could get around the loss of the system. Mm -hmm. The application of this of, is of unfortunately this, this because also like he's like spouting for the us field the time. It's like oh yeah. Descartes, oh yeah. Marx Weber, oh. My, oh. Uh, th there's no faster way to make yourself look like a douchebag than quoting Descartes. Yep, and especially quoting him wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, oh gosh. So yeah, and th and the fact that we never actually get to learn anything of his backstory because None. the climax is like oh wasn't it sad and lonely being criminally asymptomatic and never belonging in society? I'm like I don't know. Show me. Don't tell yeah. me that it's sad. Yeah. Show me a little baby Shogo yeah. being sad. Be yeah, being sad about how... About how... I, I, I wonder if, if... And it's one of those things where I'm like, how, how bad was it that they would never catch up on you doing bad things? Right. And also, where the fuck did you get all of your resources? Never explained. Never explained. He makes friends in high places, I guess, but... How? I He's don't not know. particularly charming. He just reads books and talks about how great it feels to just read books physically and not yeah. an ebook, like a... Like hipster. Yeah. Ah, oh, Makishima. And then he kind of gets killed like a bitch. He kind of just... He, like, he dies like, like the, a bitch. The, the climax of the story, like... It's really bad. We'll talk about it later, but it's yeah. not good. Yeah. It, it, I, I didn't think that would be the climax. Right? Of, of him dying in a freaking wheat field. In a wheat... From, from blood law. Actually, not. No, he got shot. He would have died of blood loss otherwise. He way, would though. have. Yeah, it, it's kind of... I don't know. Like, I, I feel like he's... And uh, I guess I'll just be an asshole right now, but, like, mm. I feel like the plot twist for this... TV, uh, series was written in reverse where yeah. they thought of what would be the coolest most badass antagonist like, mm -hmm. and then they just try to work him backwards and that is the same with the Sybil system yeah which yeah. we'll also talk yeah. about oh, because the other well. main plot of this anime is like what is the Sybil system yeah, yeah. is it really um, if, if someone like Shogo Makishima who murders people in cold blood can can not be prosecuted by the system is the system really working mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's the whole central kind of question of the second arc and it turns out it's a bunch of brains. Yeah, the civil system is not actually a, a machine. Well, it is a machine, it's but a it's machine, actually but it's ran by two hundred criminally asymptomatic people. Yeah, uh, not all of them. No, I think but, they but, said but all, most of them, if not most all. of them. So most of those brains are brains of people just like Makishima who mm -hmm. are unable to or who are not detected by the the, by the system. The, yeah. And uh, I guess I'll just jump into it now. Go for it. The thing that bothers me the most is that like. Uh, the whole time that everyone is like, is like, oh, isn't it awful? Or like, or, 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 or everyone oh, is, is reacting, and I'm like, like, you, like, especially um, Orange Hair and mm. and uh, Akane. I'm like, you have seen people die, yeah. literally be disintegrated in front of you. Why is a bunch of like brains like disturbing you at all? Yeah, and it's the the one thing like. Like, I was trying to think of ways that that would make this worse. Like, if the brains were still alive and could feel pain yeah. and were, like, being tortured to get this information, then it would be kind of fucked up. But Akane is, like, treating this like, this is, like, this is the most horrible thing I've ever yeah. witnessed in my entire life. Not the things that, like, fucking Makashima has done. No, it's, yeah. it's or, these or like, brains yeah, running the system. One of your best friends dying in front of your yeah, eyes. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, uh, okay, like, I was I was joking with Kitty. Like, just as mm -hmm. the reveal was coming, uh, with orange hair actually seeing what was inside, I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Does this machine does this machine run on like baby fetuses? Like, does it like, like crush like, a fetus yeah, to the, get the, information? Does it grind them? Like, how, what could what bar, body horror can be going on here mm -hmm. that makes people go, yeah, you know this whole society where everyone gets what they want and has a job, but then have to worry about like where my where my meal or my house is gonna mm -hmm. come from? It's completely destroyed by the fact that it's run by a bunch of brains. And and even then, like like I was working with Kitty that like mm -hmm. like. Uh, Kogami shooting Makishima at the end it's, it's dumb because wouldn't be wouldn't it have been more fitting for mm -hmm. Makishima who didn't want to belong to society who mm -hmm. didn't want to be a part of the system to become a part of the to system to be forced to be a part of the to system to be forced to be one of the 248 to, brains instead of working alone to have to work together with the other brains yeah. wouldn't that have to make been society better, better. Like, that would have been a much that, better that, ending. That, that would have been like I can imagine like him like going into like the system to pull his brain out and be like 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 uh, going on about how the system sucks and how he they, it's all broken is like mm -hmm. he but he's becoming a part of the system mm -hmm. and that would have been so much more effective than just Kogami just shooting him in the head. Yeah, uh, I was it's it's such a wasted opportunity mm -hmm. and because like like I and I think that would have made Akane's point more strong is the fact that someone horrible like Makishima couldn't is yeah. now going to help society in a way uh, in, instead of solidifying that yeah Kogami was right I guess because he killed the bad guy I guess even if the law told you not to kill the bad guy even though he would have like I, okay real I talk I mean it wasn't a happy ending yeah, to be fair it, it, it wasn't but like 
Okay, real talk, okay? Which is worst? The bad guy dies right there, and and his suffering is literally just, I Ended. don't know, bleeding a little bit and then get it, taking a bullet to the head. Mm -hmm. Or, now you get to spend the rest of eternity literally doing the thing you hate the most, being mm -hmm. a part of the system. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's, it, it feels so, I don't know, weak. It's very weak. Yeah. The whole, that whole climax is really weak, because they're, like, in a fucking field. Yeah. And I'm, I'm also, like, I, I have issues, I have issues believing that Akane would be, like, yeah, no, this system is really bad, like, like, shaking out of mm -hmm. fear to see the brains working, and I'm just, like, I understand, eh. like, but, it, I, like, I understand her, her, her hesitation about criminally asymptomatic people actually being good for society in this way, but... It, that's probably up, like after she's being shocked about the brains. Yeah, and and honestly, like I, I actually kind of understand the points the brain was were making of like if you have different points of view mm. of different people, it makes the system much more effective as opposed mm. to. And I'm, I hate to get real here, a senate full of white men. Mm -hmm. like, Although they like, did also say that like um, adding too much diversity could make the system not perfect, so that's why we only have certain number of peop of brains working yeah. so it kind of contradicted itself in that way but yeah. i get what it what it was yeah, trying to yeah. say and and it's it's just one of those things where I'm, when i'm like like listen okay like yeah w would akane freak out if she saw how like her favorite meal gets made in a factory i don't know it just it, feel, it feels so weak to be like oh it, it's been run by brains yeah no like 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 because the thing like if you bring up um like factory made meals like yeah the thing that, you know, upsets people into becoming, like, this is a, a slight a, 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 uh, assumption, assumption, but follow my logic. The thing that upsets people into um, refusing to eat meat anymore is the cruel treatment of animals Absolutely. during the process. Yeah. So if you had done something like that, again, the cruel treatment of these people who are forced to, you know, judge the society but also are, are in eternal suffering, like, that's one thing. Yeah. But the fact that, you know, it's never really brought up, like... I don't know, do, do, are these brains, like, still, do they still retain parts of themselves? They kind of said they kind of do, but don't really. And, like, and, it just feels so weak. And also, like, the implication that I think it's kind of missed here mm -hmm. is, like, only 200 brains are active, which means there's 47 brains that are not active, mm -hmm. and I wonder if they just let, if they just hook you up to a body and let you walk around. Yeah. Because, honestly, I feel like that would actually make sense, mm -hmm. because that's what the main lady was doing. Yeah, she had, like, And, and I'm just like, well, she has to just connect to the In that system. case, it's just another freaking job isn't it you just yeah. come in you hook up your conscience and just do, forever. You just do calculations but you get to live forever yeah. i don't know to, like to me it's just kind of like is this really the the bad yeah is this really the big shocking reveal of like oh it's been run by brains oh no and i'm like i don't know I, I, I prefer a bunch of disembodied brains that don't really care that anymore about have, yeah. their identity than a bunch of i don't know random people in a council yeah it's true so yeah that's the main twist. <laughs> That's the main twist of the story. It definitely exists. Yeah, and uh, I'll just talk about... Oh, no, we'll talk about the ending later. Yeah, uh, we'll get to there. Because we have to get to freaking... <laughs> the the, gra the granary. granary. Oh, God. That's a, real, that's a really bad escalation. Bioterrorism but... is the way to sell to, to murder everyone. And <sighs> I'm like... Uh, uh, okay, okay. okay. Do, do we just... Okay, okay, okay. So in the middle of the season, mm -hmm. there's a giant chaos thing. Because freaking Makishima develops a helmet that makes it so... Um, People, uh, you can you can hide your psychopath by taking the lowest number psychopath and copying it, basically. Yeah, and of the per people around uh, of people you. around you. So that allows riots to happen and murder murders to happen. And society mm -hmm. kind of crumbles, even just, though it's kind of silly. That city crumbles, even though that city crumbles just for like twelve hours. For like twelve that. hours, uh, because of the helmet. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens in the middle of the story. Just for us to it's, be it's really clear. It's about like if episode 15, 16, 17. Yeah. Yeah. So. The very final climax of the story mm -hmm. is about Makishima taking this chance where the systems are kind of restoring themselves from mm -hmm. all the riots to go and destroy the food supply to the city? Destroy the food, Japan's food supply. Is it just one farm? It's a giant fucking farm. I, yeah. I, I have issues believing that one farm can make all the food for all of Japan, but you know what? It's fine. But that's his plan. And mm -hmm. he's going to achieve this by changing the virus that kills the pests into making it into a virus that kills all the... Hyper the weed, yeah. hyper oats, hyper oats. and as someone who has actually worked at a at a nursery and knows how pesticides work, mm -hmm. that's dumb. There is no such thing I, as I, a good virus. I, I was joking with Kitty, and I'm like, you could just turn off the pesticides, and then the mm -hmm. pests would take over. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like saying like like okay, I'm gonna replace your fire extinguisher instead of just taking it out of your house. I'm gonna replace it with a fire extinguisher that shoots fire. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm just like, just take out the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sitting there, and there's, there's so many plot holes in that final sequence. Oh, there's like, so many. Like, the old guy who still has clearance to enter. Yeah. The, 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 the guy who's been retired for like 30 years can still <laughs> enter this giant factory yeah, this, that's completely automated and doesn't yeah. need humans in there. Why would they even uh, let a human in there? And it has no fencing or anything. Yeah, it just has two little droids. Yeah, and it's just. Uh, yeah, it's uh, really and, and the fact weak. that like the climax of the story is literally in in a, in, a, in farmland. Yeah, is in a, a field of fucking wheat. I feel like it should have been the other way around. Mm -hmm. I feel like it should have tried to do that first, mm -hmm. and then as escalation do the helmet thing. Yeah, but because uh, that felt more interesting at the very least. Uh, it, it felt more final. Like yeah. I'm like, wow, this like what's gonna happen after this? Are we gonna be in this riot for the next seven? And Eight honestly, episodes? I had completely forgotten about the actual climax of this. <laughs> yeah, I like that when, we're, when we're, we were talking about it, you were like, oh, this this is how it ends. Oh. I was like, oh, shit, man. No wonder I don't remember it. This sucks. Okay. We have talked about the world, I think. Mm -hmm. We've you, kinda... Is there anything else you want to say about the world? Um, I'm just like, I don't know. The only thing that I, I understand is why, as to why people would be upset that the civil system runs everything is the fact that there is no longer any sense of kind of self or control and, and the fact that, you know, you don't make your own decisions about life. But that feels much more like an American complaint to have. Yeah. Like, as a Japanese complaint, like, I don't feel like that holds water. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you know, much about Jap Japanese society and the way that I love, like, how it functions, how you, you know, get jobs and stuff like yeah. that. But I imagine as a, as a more community-centric um, society, this wouldn't actually be as bad as if this were taking place in America, yeah. where everyone's all about the individual, and now that the system rules them, they don't have yeah. their individuality. It, yeah. It, like, this feels yeah. way more Americanized than it should for a I, fucking Japanese anime. And, and there are times in which I feel the setting, the characters are reacting as though they live in our world. Yeah. Or, or, or their mindset is that of our world, except that the civil system has been going around for 50 years. At least, yeah. So, so it's one of those things where I'm just like, if you... Everyone who's part of the main cast, other than the old man, mm -hmm. have been living in this since, like, since they were born, have been part of this. Uh, yeah. So, how is to them like, like, oh, I get to have a job and and my income is taken care of, and I live mm -hmm. in a in a city where there's literally no crime except for really like like I mean, extreme there is cases, crime, but, but but extreme things. Yeah. Uh, and even then, like, and there's really funny things about like when the riots happen. They all have bats and like sticks and not <laughs> yeah. guns because it's Japan. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I'm like, so, even the riots are not that crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Uh, like, um, I completely lost my trail, my trail of thought. That's okay. Me but too. but I do agree with you that like, uh, yeah, in, a, in an American setting where it literally is all about individualism, mm -hmm. this would like this would not fly. Yeah. Like it would have to come with so many like, like. Caveats or, yeah. or, or caveats, mm -hmm. yeah. But in a in a more ca community centric uh, Japanese culture, maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing that kind of throws me off about the world is that like, if this were America, that would make a little bit more sense why yeah. people are inherently against the civil system. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so <sighs> let's start. Let's start now. Let's we go Akini. over some Kiri. Ikiane Sunemori. Um, I love her to bits. Oh wow, Kitty, Kitty. In the list of psycho char psychopaths characters, under Kogami. Kogami is the first one in the list. What the actual fuck? Yep. Good times. Good times. I love Akane. I think she's adorable. I want her Nendroid even though it's like 80, 90 bucks. <laughs> she's one of the so ancient Nendos. She's not actually that ancient. She was just like, I don't know, I just didn't make the, many of her, I guess. The primordial Nendo. Because like, I don't know, was Psychopaths really that big? It, it had a small impact on the anime community, but not as big as I'm sure he was getting yeah. Urubuchi was hoping. It's but a little hard for original anime to get a uh, tra 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 traction, traction, traction yeah. when there's not like you know mm -hmm. twenty volumes of the manga for you to go fall yeah. back on. They did a manga afterwards, and I think a light novel series afterwards, and also a game, and a game which yeah. we Man, may happiness. play. At we some may play. Point. We may play. Uh, it it might, could happen. It could happen. It might be further down. I don't know if it's ca it's canon or not because it shows characters who die in the series. Oh yeah, we haven't even talked about them yet. But uh, we're not we'll, there we'll, yet. We'll get there. Um. Uh, so the thing. I'm gonna talk about this here yeah, because I thing, yeah. didn't it's, it's the place. put the place. Yeah. So um, the thing that pisses me off the most is there's this trope that, um, and, I'm, and I know Gen Uribuchi has used this before, but it is also just common in um, more yeah. gritty anime. Yeah. Is the uh, break the cutie trope? Yeah. Which is where you know something horrible happens to this young innocent thing, and you know it changes their viewpoint entirely. 
And I like that Akane is not actually changed entirely by this horrible thing, but the horrible thing still happens, so it pisses me off. Yeah. So, uh, uh, um... Uh, if you watch this anime, take a shot every time a woman is seen is, as, a, as the object of violence. Yes. And also object of uh, uh, sex sexualized violence mm -hmm. by uh, yeah, being... Uh, usually in her the, underwear or, yeah. or sexy pajamas or, or, or having their, unbuttoning their, her blouse. Yeah, or their clothes being torn out. Yeah, no. The treatment of women in this anime is fucking awful. Yeah, it's actually really bad. And it even extends to these fucking main characters because... Yeah. Akane, not so much, but her best friend gets mega killed. She gets fritched. She gets for fridged her development. For, for Kogami's development, oh, almost. Oh, you're not wrong. Because Akane, poor thing, is pretty much pushed aside after this. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, in episode, uh... No, don't do that, babe. Oh, my God, Yanta. Just stay, you big dummy. No, nah, he's no, had too much cuddle. Don't. Too much cuddle. He, he's had it without complaining. You're not wrong. Uh, so, in episode, um, like, 11 or something, uh, they gotta go investigate... Uh, subway tunnel and uh because uh, oh yeah Akane's friend is is uh, like is, is missing, gone missing and, yeah and so she has to go yeah. look for her um yeah. and it ends up uh Kogami is like no I'll I'll go in there and you know because you you stay safe up here yeah. and you have to call for backup and stuff mm. so he goes in there to try to and, and save her and um turns out she's like kidnapped in her like fucking lingerie like I don't think that is uh, even what she went to bed no, in no 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 that uh uh it's implied that Mikeshima oh, changed that's, her clothes that's right he did change her clothes he changed or, her or, into something uh, fucking at least her bra changed uh, he changed the bra at least yeah and oh god that's just disgusting on so it's many actually, levels it's actually so really they have this bad. entire episode where they're in the rainbow gradient sewer running yeah. away from uh, somebody who's hunting them for fun so um anyway Kogami gets hurt so then um this gives Makishima the chance to capture um, Akane's friend while, while Akane rushes in to go save her. Mm -hmm. And they have this interesting conflict at the point where it's like, this is where Akane discovers that she can't shoot him with her gun. Mm -hmm. Even though he's like, has murdered people at this point, has threatened to kill more people at this point, is literally holding her friend hostage at knife point. Mm -hmm. And the gun is like, no, 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 he good, he good. <laughs> and, uh. Uh, and, then, and then they kill the friend in front of Akane. Yep. Just blood yep. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it just, oh, God, that episode pisses me off. And I almost can't even put into words, like, why it pisses me off. But it just fucking pisses me I, off. Uh, uh, honestly, like, uh, like that scene, like, I'm not saying that you can't have characters lose people that, that mean a lot to them as a way of character development. Mm -hmm. Like, like that's fine. Yeah. The, the issue is that this series has the entire theme of, like, like can you count, like, are there times when there aren't women in their underwear being the center of violence? Because isn't it most of the time in their underwear? Most of the time they're in their underwear or they get their shirt ripped yeah. off. And the, the times that you see men um, in violence, there there is one woman who is in violence who is not part of that, but she gets burned alive, yeah. screaming. Yeah. So that's a different story. But there's like two times you see men tortured slash mangled. And you barely see the one guy who got his eyes gouged out. Yeah. And then the other guy was that guy with the woman who got burnt. And he was just, I don't know, what did, what happened with him? Did he slit his neck or something? I think so. No, I think they bashed his skull in or something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, it, uh, it was oh, not actually shown on screen, unlike yeah. all of the women. Hey, hey Katie, did you, did you like the moment where... Uh... The one lady that uh, was being bashed with the with the hammer got shown over and over and over again. Yeah, no, that <laughs> I think was, that was the episode that, that broke you. Great. Yeah. Well, I mean, this the uh, the the Akane thing it, it kills me. Yeah. The, the first time it killed me, the second time it still killed me. Yeah. I no, just it's, hate it's it just... with so much of my being. Yeah. Ugh, it makes me so pissed. Akane is a really good character. I really like her, mm -hmm. as, and she, it and makes sense for her to be at the center of the story. But she gets shoved aside for Kogami, which is just dumb. So hard, yeah. And it really does feel as though like bait and switch. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. you came for a strong female character in the center. <laughs> nah, it's just a, he's a man. Yeah, who knows all the answers? Therefore, is fucking <sighs> boring. Did we just talk about Kogami, or is there anything else you want to say about Akane? And um, I think that's it about Akane. I like that she has a jellyfish mask. Yeah, off. yeah, yeah. That's uh, my so thing. Kogami. Uh, okay, okay. And you know what? I'm starting to get the feeling. Uh, who who wrote who wrote the what was the name of the guy? Genryubuchi. Yeah, he does this thing where he has characters who know everything and get everything right. That was the main fault with the main character in Aldo Asiro. Mm -hmm. Even beyond episodes one, two, and three, he gets everything right, never makes a mistake, calls every shot as though he's just fucking reading the script. And that is mm -hmm. not only one unsatisfying for the audience because mm -hmm. he just tells you what's happening and completely unsatisfactory because there is no tension and he's got to figure it out and it, it's just flat out boring mm -hmm. and uh the thing and i guess we we foreshadowed this but like the, the be at the beginning kogami's entire like reasoning for going after uh makishima is the fact that he he caused 
his partner to die. Mm-hmm. Even though we learn later on that he was kind of an asshole. Which but, also um, made um, uh, Kogami's crime coefficient go above yeah. uh, what could be healed, so then he became a latent criminal. Exactly. And, working and then for an the enforcer, police. yeah. 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 And that's the, the beginning. Mm-hmm. But then they just completely forget about it for the rest of the, of the entire series. Yeah. To the point in which I had to remember it halfway through this review, where I was like, oh, yeah. It, it, it's almost as though he just wanted to kill the guy. It's almost as though yeah. he really was just the criminal all along. Yeah, but, oh no, what an uh, asshole. And, okay, like, the thing that actually pissed me off uh, at the end mm. was when Akane gives him the gun that has been unlocked to capture people. Because mm. the, the, cause I kind of made a deal with Sybil, and uh, Sybil unlocked this one gun mm. so that, that it paralyze. could be fired whenever you wanted it to. Mm. No checking, no nothing. Mm-hmm. And he leaves it and takes the revolver to kill so, Makishima. To actually physically put a bullet in his head yeah like like we joke about characters stroking their big penises but this is literally him going no hey akane you made a deal so that i would be set free and that i wouldn't have to worry about capture and living in fear for the rest of my life but fuck, fuck you. you i'm gonna stroke my giant penis and murder this, this guy yeah i want to murder this guy so i'm going to <laughs> i'm gonna pull down my pants and skull fuck him because i'm the best Oof. Oof. Oh, i fucking hate kogami so much and and i hate uh, we'll talk about the openings later, but like the fi- the second opening is awesome, but the very last shot of it is mm-hmm. Akane literally passing the torch to Kogami, mm-hmm. which makes no sense because he's been here for a while mm-hmm. and he really has no other character traits other than he wants to murder Makishima. Yeah, and he's smart, I guess. Uh, he's he's a total like male power fantasy of mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm, a, I'm the greatest and the, oh, oh, I know I'm everything. The best. Me, oh, me, I figured okay. everything out before you did because I'm the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna skull fuck the antagonist. Uh. Really? What was it? I forgot what win at this point uh, we were joking, but it was like, you know, all these antagonists, they just need to get laid. You, I, I we were joking that, like, Makishima just really needs to get laid. Yeah. And he'd be like, you know... People aren't all so the, bad. You, you know, all this all this chaos thing and all this causing riots, I just, maybe, maybe it wouldn't be as bad if everyone just got just banged every once in a while. Yep. L- like, the lesbians had no trouble and, like, are literally living completely peaceful lives because mm-hmm. they be banging. They be banging. I mean, they, they're uh, stuck in that one building, but whatever. Yeah, Who but it, shit? Even, even then, I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure Sybil can arrange something, but it's just, like, oh, yeah. I don't know. Kugami's character is just so... And also, his design is also kind of dumb. Oh, his, his hair like, is stupid. Like, his, his sideburns are kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, and I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... We're, we're so burnt out on Kogami. I'm, I'm burnt out on that kind of character, too. Yeah. Who knows everything yeah, and is a, this a smart sto- guy. Stoic and faces m- no punishments for his actions. Because, like, you know, they don't actually catch Kogami. He just runs away yeah, uh, Like at the end of the anime. Yeah, and I think it falls so... It feels so limp, I guess, mm-hmm. to continue the penis analogy. Because mm-hmm. he, he kills Makishima, and then no one ever mentions him. No one brings brings him up in the last part of the I final mean, they, episode. I mean, they do. Akane's like, I wonder what Kogami's oh, doing. Yeah, yeah. And then, but you see nothing. You don't know. For, for the guy who was literally the focus for the last three episodes, he should just banish this. Mm-hmm. In the and, and, air. And, and and I thought, okay, well, well, won't you just commit and at least show us like where he's at, what he's up to? And they had a tiny, tiny half a second shot at the end of Kogami like putting on a jacket. Yeah, but that was it, and you couldn't even see his face. So yeah, who knows. <sighs> Lord help me, he better not be in the second season. No, he's gonna be in the second season. He's got to. He's gonna show up like... No, no, I was gonna be like, he's gonna show up five epi- uh, on the last five episodes. No, episode one, he's there. Mm. I'm back. Hey God. there. God. Hey, Akane, I need you to help me kill this one big bad guy. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. <laughs> so let's <sighs> talk about uh, other characters. Let's take a deep breath, Kitty. <sighs> Enforcers. Yeah, uh, we have... Oh, um... We're gonna group... Uh, Glasses and uh, old man together because of reasons. Yep. But so before so we the... have Kagari and lesbian. Uh, lesbians, yeah. Uh, K- K- Kagari. K- Kunizuka. Ah. Kunizuka. Oh, Kunizuka. Kunizuka. Uh, yeah. Yayoi and uh, what's the name of the doctor lady? The other lesbian. Kanamori. The... Ka- Kara Kara no Mori. Oh, Kara no Mori. Yeah, oh, Shion. Kara no Mori. Okay. Yeah, Shion. That's so right. first up, Kagiri. Kagari. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kagari gets mega dead. Yeah, and and, and then I, uh, and then fuck it, and then and then they just abandon him. And they just completely uh, like he the, doesn't the, even get a grave. He, he doesn't even get a grave. But the thing that actually bothered me is that like they were holding on to the whole thing of like, is he dead actually? I'm like, yeah. No, he did. He is. He did. But the anime keeps like 
Like, I, I understand characters being like, oh, we have to look for him. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But that lasts, like, five episodes. Mm -hmm. Four episodes of, of them being like, we have to find Kagari. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like... And then he gets mega shafted even in his own, like, yeah. having to find Kagari. It's yeah. like, oh, no, he did. Yeah. And then they're just like, oh, I guess he escaped, or I guess he's dead. Well, Akane learns the truth, but... Yeah, yeah, but... Mm, uh, lesbians! Uh, I think, uh... The reason I watch this anime... <laughs> <laughs> Oof. They get... Two scenes together, count them on your fingers, during the first episode, and then during the last episode are the only scenes they get together to be intimate. And that's it. And even then you could even say that the last scene is actually just more fan service because you get to see lots of side boob. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just come in and just say that like uh, Kunisuka's origin story, which is the first episode of, this, of the second half, I guess, mm -hmm. is actually completely flat yeah. and it, it, it actually serves to, to walk back at the story because you learn that uh, Kogami's partner was actually an asshole mm -hmm. and it, isn't it great when you are driven to revenge over an asshole's death I don't know yeah. but also you don't, like you said you don't learn what actually caused her to flip mm -hmm. you just learn that like she had her first lesbian experience with a with a latent it's, criminal it's implied. implied you don't even know yeah and you don't even see her play music and it's just kind of like like What's the point? It feels very weak. It feels like 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 they did everything but what they set out to do in that episode. They're like, this is an origin story. Let's not tell her origin story. Uh, I mean, they tell her origin story about how she became an enforcer, but not about how she became yeah. a latent criminal. Yeah, it it and I I feel that's more important because I can easily make the connection between mm -hmm. between uh well you're a latent criminal we're gonna give you a chance to become an enforcer mm -hmm. as opposed to like how did she end up a latent criminal. Who cares, right? I, I, I really do feel that like they managed to do anything in that episode but give you her origin story. Yeah. Which is weird. Because this episode was entirely about her. Uh, it's supposed to be, at least. Uh, and what about... Uh, uh, a uh, doctor or lesbian. Kara no Mori. Ka mm -hmm. Kara no Mori or Shion. I like uh, the moment she gets in a, with Akane during like the second to last episode. Yeah, you, you mean like, 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 okay, Akane, it's time for you to have your first lesbian experience. Mm -hmm. And Akane's like... Nah. No, I'm good. <laughs> or more like not the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, but then she does like actually comfort Akane when she's yeah, which is, crying, which is nice. Which is nice. Uh, the, Other than that, she doesn't really have much character. Uh, she just sad. kind of she just kind of there for background whenever a character has to do something. Like, whenever they like, need medical assistance oh, or oh, also are we gonna, help with something. It's weird that she actually allowed Kogami to take the helmet. Yeah. Oh, no, no. She told him to not leave the building, but then he just fucking does it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. what, yeah. She really like also. There's a thing in this anime, mm -hmm. and if you want to play the drinking game, watch it, and every time someone lights up a cigarette and takes two drags and puts it out, yeah. take a shot. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's wasteful as fuck. Super wasteful. I know it looks cool, but no. Yeah, it's just kind of like, we but have to no. light, light a cigarette and then just put it out, and I'm just like, okay, th right, that's then. a thing, I guess. Yep. Mm. Let's talk about stupid... <laughs> You wrote down stupid hair and dead. Mm, spoilers. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're, yeah, you're in the spoiler zone. Exactly. So, so, so uh, Nobuchika uh, Ginoza, who is the yeah. other enforcer that yeah. Akan Akane's mentor, basically. Uh, I actually, he has stupid hair. I kind of like his design. I like his design, especially after removing the glasses. Yeah, exactly. And it, it improves like tenfold. Yeah, yeah, it actually does. And my favorite character, aside from Akane, is the freaking old man. Yeah. Uh, That's a good ass fucking. Where's this guy? Where's they don't share the last name. Uh, Kogami. Oh, uh, you sh Tono, to Tomomi Masoka. Masoka, mm -hmm. yeah. He was a fucking delight He is a great story. character. He gets weird towards the end where he keeps saying like stuff about being a yeah, man. Yeah. I, I wonder how much of that was like translation issues, but like he starts saying like really misogynistic things near the end. Yeah, they uh, just like, like, one two, like two or three. Yeah. And it's just like, like oh, we have to let them go because the, the, they are ladies and we're men. We They're going to give us the heavy lifting. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, come on. Come on, dude! You were so Come good. On. He he was definitely my my yeah. other favorite yeah. character. No, he was a fucking delight mm -hmm. to the extent where I was looking forward to him talking because yeah. he's got that really good old man voice, mm -hmm. and, and and he serves as a nice mentor for uh, for Akane and every yeah. and, and everyone because even though he is also a latent criminal, mm -hmm. he's kind of he serves as a. Uh, not as a foil, but also kind of a moral compass. Cause yeah. Because he knows how to do this, and he's doing but the he's, right thing. And he's also, you know, trying to do the right thing even in his own, like, place. Because he's like, okay, no, Akane, you know, let me do this because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to, yeah. like, take the heavy burden yeah, of this job. Yeah. So he's always trying to, like, kind of sacrifice himself. Ha, ha, ha. In order to help others. Uh, uh, and then he dies! Saving uh, his son. Which yeah. is, which actually, well, the first time around made me really sad. It did make me really yeah, sad. Yeah, like... Uh, it's kind of stupid seeing it the second time because I'm like... Did, did we did, have to kill him? Did uh, Genosa ever get it, ever end up getting a replacement arm? 
Because his arm got fucked up during the final fight. I don't think we ever saw it. Uh, I I, I, I want to believe that he got an arm replacement. He's like got his a glove on, on the second season's art on that hmm. arm. Oh, then then that's awesome then. Uh, mm -hmm. No complaints there. Yeah, like but, a but, D. Yeah. Uh, I... I guess a part of me felt that it was kind of forced that like yeah. Makashima is like I've got the stick of dynamite and I'm like, then I, like I don't know. Also, like, let's lights the dynamite by like rubbing the fuse on the yeah, ground. Yeah, and that's not how that's, that how no. <laughs> dynamite works. But you know what? That's also, man, that's like the most cartoony stick of dynamite too, because it's just like if we're, it only we're just gonna paint it black. Red. Just yeah, pa just paint it black and it's fine. And I'm like, you know. You could have had a chunk of C4. Like, mm -hmm. there's futuristic explosives that people will recognize. And Akane had, a, like, a shock grenade, too, at one point. So yeah. it's like, could you have made a grenade at yeah. Makashima? I, I, under, I understand the principle of, like, it has to be recognizable for people to know what the hell it is. But also, at the same time, like, it's just a stick of dynamite, which people don't use, but okay. No. Yeah, definitely uh, uh, and yeah, the explosion en ends up uh, killing uh, uh, Masaoka, mm -hmm. and which is kind of a touching scene. And then you get a more touching scene at like two no, months no, yeah, later. Yeah. I forget, yeah, two years uh, or two months? Uh, two months. Uh, at two months. At the end of the of the final where, episode. Yeah, where he's at his grave, and yeah. then you see that he's you know, taken so. off his glasses because yeah. because his dad, as he was dying, was like, "You have my eyes." Yeah, that that. Uh, oh. I mean, I'm getting the sadness right now. Yeah, that was actually really effective. Mm. Um, I'm I, a sucker for like dad stories. Yeah. No, no, I I actually really liked when we learned that. Masoka was Genos' dad. And I like that it was super casual, like, yeah, brought no, up. Yeah, it, it, like, yeah, just it, like me, son. And then yeah, you're like, what, yeah, what, what, yeah. what? Uh, yeah, I know. I, I like that it wasn't like, I'm your father. Or, or like, he's my dad. And I like that, like, um... The, the scene where they're talking about, um, or the the episode where Ginoza talks about his dad becoming a latent criminal and how that's affected yeah. him, is not immediately followed up by learning that, that it, Masome exactly. is his dad. It's almost as though it, stab it, it slides it in as though it's foreshadowing or something. Whoa. Oh, and then uh, Ginoza also becomes a latent criminal. Yeah, just like his dad. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. But, like, but I, I, unfortunately, I feel like he... He actually had decent character development. He kind of gets a little shafted at the end because his, like his dad dies and then his life is over because he's a yeah. latent criminal now. He, ca he can't. Yeah. Oh, hello, Yanta. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Yanto. Not in. Not in the electronics bag. No. <laughs> uh, Yanta's trying to sneak into the bag where we have all the cables Ugh. for recording uh, video games. He just wants to be in the center of attention. Yeah, he does. Hey, Yanta, can you give us a, a meow? A meow hey, for hi, uh, Masoka. He's the best character, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, Yanta. Yanto. Shit. I love shit. you. I love you, hey, Yanto. We love you. We, uh, you know, having a cat for the middle of this one-hour review really helps. Yeah. Ooh, I knew we were gonna go <sighs> long. I didn't know we were gonna go this long. No, That's what she uh, said. honestly, we've been kind of for our 22 episode series. We we have so much to talk about because mm. this is not like Isera where like where it's bad is stupid. and then we just make fun of it for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. This like this we, is like complexly bad. It's not out overtly bad, but it is very bad in many ways. Yeah, like uh. I guess wasted potential is what comes yeah. to mind. Wasted potential in the world building, wasted potential in the plot twist, wasted potential in, in, in the antagonist, characters. and Akane. Yeah, poor Akane. But, like, I, uh, I guess we're sliding into the opening and ADs. Uh, mm -hmm. The first OP is kind of forgettable. It's alright. Uh, the second OP is, is the best it's fucking, fucking thing. fucking good. Uh, the second, the first ending is also I don't remember oh, I, it, it very well. It's the all fact right. that I don't remember, I think, goes to show that it's the kind second of ending is kind of silly. No, I, okay, uh, <laughs> when you watch, if you watch the second or go find the second uh, season ED, mm -hmm. just a voiceover, I kind of being like, man, I wish I was the main character. Because there's a bunch of shots about main character. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a a bunch of shots of her, like, mm -hmm. looking kind of like, like thinking, as though, as though thinking, and I'm like, man, I used to be the main character. That, those were cool days. Those were good times before I got shafted completely. Yeah. The second OP is the best fucking it's thing. It's really good. I, I had to keep every every episode, I didn't want to skip the, yeah. the opening because I was just jamming. It's It's got crazy colors. Yeah. The song is really good. The song is good. It's all in English, actually. It's all in English, and It's yeah. not English, so yeah. I'm not sure where they got the song. Uh, but And it establishes the things that are going to be happening mm -hmm. later in the story. Like, it actually like it foreshadows has a, so much of things. It has a really cool shot of uh, Sybil's logo and Shogo Makashima going mm -hmm. through it, mm -hmm. which is a really cool, like, you know, uh, foreshadowing thing. And the fact yeah. that Sybil's logo is is like kind of vague in that point, but then when you later realize it's supposed to be a brain, yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, I get it. Uh, it's almost as though they wanted you all to know eventually. Mm, yeah, they did. Uh, but um, but uh, yeah, the I, opening I, I, is fucking yeah, amazing. The opening is actually the fucking amazing. Uh, look it up if you if you want to. I think it's I like the first opening too, but the second opening is like the second opening is actually is so much stronger. Yeah. Uh, and now we have the ending, the which I think climax, which uh, at, or, we've gone over, but yeah, but no, the very ending. The very ending, which... Oh, the bookender? 
uh, the bookend. Because、mm-hmm. for me, I almost feel like it, it like, and it, it's, it's, it's unfair to say this because、mm-hmm. I think this anime is not that good.、No. But that bookend is so fucking good. It's really good. The only thing I don't like about it is that they've, they really changed the Kane's character just for that moment.、Uh, I, so that、yeah. she could be in the, in the Ko, not Kogami, the、uh, Ginoza position.、Uh, like, I, I, I think that it was the, del- the delivery that kind of made it go from. Because、uh, it, it made it sound as if she was reading someone else's lines, which、mm-hmm. she was. Which she literally but, but was. But I think she could have said it with her character without making us feel as if she's changed into a completely、mm-hmm. different person. But for those of you who don't know, this series ends. The very last scene is the very first scene of the show. Which is well, some of my favorite shit ever. Yeah. And, and instead of、uh, it being Jinosa telling Akane about, you know, like, you're a newbie and I can't treat you like a newbie,、mm-hmm. it's Akane saying that to the new to, girl. To the new girl who's a minor, which、who's、is kind of weird,、yeah. but whatever. Yeah. And, and it, it recreates the, the scene all over with、mm-hmm. the same dialogue and, and with the same kind of shots、yeah. as well. And, it's、yeah. like a rainy day yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a rainy day. And when the, when the, when the enforcer struck opens up,、yeah. it's Jinosa and, and freaking、uh, Yayoi.、Uh, yeah, 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 and, and two other people we can't see. And it's, it, it feels very. Uh, feels, close. Yeah, it, 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 I think like, the term bookend really, really, really、mm-hmm. uh, ties it together. Yeah, because it opens the way, or it, it closes the way it started, which it, I it, love. It, it ends in a kind of satisfactory way, even、mm-hmm. though there's a bunch of things that are、even、left unanswered. Even though there's still stupid things. I mean, it got a second season, so. Yeah. You know.、uh, I, I really liked it, which is a little bit unfair because. This anime almost doesn't deserve to end so neatly. It's true, honestly. I mean, it, I mean, it does leave open、um, the fact that Kogami is fucking who knows where. But, like, God, I hope he doesn't come <laughs> You're back. Like, yeah, you know,、uh, Akane is in the center of the key art. How much you want to bet that's the bait and switch?、Mm, the first episode.、Again. Kogami's back, bitch! Not again. Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a new baddie, and someone's got a skull fuck that asshole. Oh, God. Ah.、Uh, Kogami is the worst thing about this anime. You're not wrong. He's such a power trip fantasy. He's strong and like, he's got、mm-hmm. an eight pack. And, and, an eight and, pack. and, and he, he never makes no mistakes ever except when he means to on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <sighs> he's like, I planned this mistake so you guys could、Ex- see it and、exactly. then follow my trail. I meant to fall over and eat shit. It was、mm-hmm. totally on purpose.、Mm-hmm. Man, that, one, of the, one of those final moments where Akana is literally on the back of a truck trying to shoot out the wheels. <laughs> my, poor, my poor girl. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I can't, I can't. No, stop. Chill. You're too soft for this. And, but, but I like the fact that, like, somehow she calculated that, that was the last bullet and she、yeah. used it. And then yeah, that, when that, that Makashima tried to kill her, she was like, hey,、yeah. fuck you, bitch. Yeah, that was fun. Yanto, are you. He's not, trying... he's not eating them. Okay. He's just trying to get in、uh, there for some reason. But yeah, Kitty, do you have any closing thoughts on、uh, Psycho Pass? <laughs> God, what a wasted potential. What a waste of potential, huh? Like, I wonder, I wonder if the game is good or if the second season is good.、Yeah. Because, like, I enjoyed parts of, of the se- series, but, like,、yeah. the fact that its treatment of women is horrible, the fact that Akana gets completely shafted, the fact that the world building is kind of weak, the fact that the main baddie is boring, and that He's、really、the new、boring. main character is also really boring, and they're supposed to foil each other, but it doesn't work because they're both super boring. Yeah. Like, there's so many things that if. If improved, this anime could be like, like, like Ghost in the Shell levels of like,、uh, known by the anime community as、yeah. one of the best cyberpunks.、Yeah. Or cyber, yeah, yeah cyberpunk? Is that cyberpunk? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one of the most best cyberpunk、yeah. series, but it just falls short so many times, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It could have been really good, instead, it's just, eh. It's, it's really kind of average. Yeah. Yeah, like,、uh, I agree with everything you just said.、Uh, mm-hmm. I, there's a really good story here.、Mm-hmm. There's a really good story here. There is a、here. really good story trying to escape. There's Kane's、yeah. like clawing for it. She's like, I got this. <laughs> I got you. I just, I can almost like, feel your hand. And then Kagami like steps on her hand. He's like,、yeah. no, my story. My story.、Ugh. My story. That, that final shot in the opening get, got me every time.、Mm-hmm. Whereas like, Kane's like, I'm the main character. And Kagami's like, no, you're not, bitch. I'm、It's、the、me. one in color. It's all me. I fucking hate it. Okay, all right, we've been here for too long.、Mm-hmm. We are Dango Duo. We don't think we're tagging along. If you have your thoughts on this anime, we would love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. We reply to every comment. No spoilers for yeah, season、no、spoilers. two or the game, please. Yeah, please, absolutely, no spoilers.、Uh, otherwise, we'll, ba- we'll, get, we'll ban you forever. We'll get to it eventually. Yeah, no, we, we want, I, I want to. I want to. I、yeah. want to see if it turns around or if it does anything. Or if it shits itself even harder. Absolutely. 
For the time being though, we're Dango Duo, uh, on the screen right now, videos, a playlist if you want to see some more of our anime reviews, mm -hmm. and a button to subscribe and a button for our Patreon! Ooh. Consider pledging to our Patreon and you can get good perks like watching your videos early and appearing on the ending screens like this one! Woo! Look at you! Look at you! Ah, and you! And you! Hey there! I think there's only two. Yeah, thank you for tagging along! <laughs> and we hope to see you... Next Meow Anime. Next Meow Anime.